It's washing ashore once again, affecting the eastern and southern coasts of Barbados, the sargassum seaweed. Barbados government is treating the onslaught of sargassum seaweed as a national emergency. Several government ministers and other officials gathered at Bass St. John for a first-hand look. This is not only a priority of the government, it's an urgency because it's a national issue. We see it even as a national crisis. And um, it is our intention that we are here to work for the people, we intend to deliver, and we're going to work even if we have to work throughout the entire night. Now, all the agencies that are relevant, we brought in. All the technology that is relevant, we discussed that. We, but we have to start with what we have. We know that we can do much better, but it means that the government will have to put out some capital and invest it. And we can bring in probably the most modern equipment in order to resolve these problems so that we can actually um, capture the sargasm. As you can see here on Bath, we've already started working on removing the seaweed. We have brought out the Defense Force, we have the Chief here with us. We're treating it as a national emergency in a way, and uh, we've decided that we have to, as a matter of priority for Barbadians, remove the seaweed. It is our understanding that the most of the seaweed comes in on the east and the north coast, and then it makes it its way like through a conveyor belt in the beach toward the south coast. We believe if we can cut it off at the source point where it comes in on the east coast, that we will be able to prevent it from going on to the south coast beaches, which as you know is part of our tourist belt. And it's our intention to prevent it from doing so. In any event, by the time it reaches the south coast, it is already at a point where it has deteriorated to a point where it is no longer able to be used for anything of value. Uh, what we're getting here now is something that is of some value. Um, we consider it harvesting the seaweed because we believe we can use it for something else. Well, this is a national issue, obviously, and it's something that will be continuing, and we're going to continue to work together to solve problems, and that's what it's all about. And whatever problem comes up, rest assured that your government will be working together to solve those problems. And what we've looked at is the possibility of encouraging all Barbadian households to uh, look into the uh, growing of fruits and vegetables at home. And in so doing, this is a wonderful opportunity for them to use the sargassum seaweed as a fertilizer. Uh, it could be used as compost as well. So um, the Ministry of Agriculture is fully behind uh, Minister Humphrey and uh, all the other ministers involved in this effort in making sure we rid the beaches of Barbados of the sargassum seaweed. is a, a high risk of the seaweed coming around the south coast in a, in a clockwise uh, direction and impacting on the west coast. So consequently, a lot of our effort today has been to deal with the areas that are most significant, most likely to cause such an impact and to stop it from, from coming around to the west coast. Besides troops on the ground, uh, we've already established based on the Headquarters Operations Center at Senas Fort, a distinct coordination center, uh, which is designed to gather information to assist with the coordination of a wide range of, of government and non-governmental organizations, private citizens as well, to sort of harness the effort and also to deal with information management. Uh, we have employed this morning um, UAV, an unmanned aerial vehicle, to kind of get a scan of the near shore coastal area to see what is the threat from further offshore, how many uh, waves of the seaweed are likely to come ashore within what uh, timeline. As Barbados battles this foreign invader, the island looks forward to the relief in weeks to come.